Hey Luke, how you doing? Got your um, post up here. The two examples that I found show uh, poor type uh, typography versus great typography. So let's take a look at your post. I I, I want to take a look at this guy right here. And yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, it, it just really shows that um, not only are these letters are are turned very poorly, but also the tracking is terrible, as is the letting. Um, tracking would be a letter um, turning is the spacing in between individual letters. Tracking is the is the um, space between the letters in a line. Okay, and then of course letting um, is the spaces between lines. So yeah, you, you definitely this this um, example just nails it. How horrible it can be to um, try to um, work with two letters that are too tightly or turned or too tightly letted. Um, so that's, that's a really good. Now this, this is a little different. And I, I'd like you to find a different example for your good typography. Not that this isn't good typography. This is absolutely stunning. However, I think it would be better for you to train your eye to take a look at a paragraph or, um, you know, try to find a paragraph or some sort of a composition of typography as opposed to one word. That way we can look at the, the, the you know, traditional nuance of typography in terms of whether it's, it's set in a way that would be considered good typography or bad type typography. So, again, if you just give us another example of your good typography, only this time find a composition or a layout with, um, you know, with a robust typographic layout that we can take a look at. All right, thanks very much. Good job.